We turn next, though, to the gunman and the questions at this hour. Why was he allowed to obtain that arsenal? The image of a troubled young man now emerging this evening, discharged from the Air Force after a domestic assault conviction, and recently posting this photo of a semi automatic rifle on his Facebook page. Here's ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas tonight. Tonight, law enforcement officials have now viewed the video of the massacre. And one of them tells ABC News there's little doubt the gunman came to the church to kill everyone in that building, period, and called him a horrible monster. That stark assessment, as police today said, the genesis of the killing spree was rooted in a domestic dispute. The suspect apparently hunting his mother-in-law. The suspect's mother-in-law attended this church. Uh, we know that she had reset threatening texts from him. Authorities say Kelly showed up with a bulletproof vest and a mask with a skull pictured on it. And the evidence is mounting that for Devin Kelly, violence had been a family affair. He was discharged from the Air Force in 2014 after serving a one-year sentence for assaulting his first wife and his infant stepson. Military records show he hit the child in the head with enough force to produce death or grievous bodily harm. In theory, the domestic abuse charges should bar someone from buying guns. They would be prohibited from possessing or purchasing firearms. And tonight, the U.S. Air Force admitting they failed to pass along the information that would have prevented Kelly from obtaining the murder weapon. So let's drill down on that, Pierre. Pierre's with us live tonight. Uh, more on that late word from the military that they didn't forward information about his military crimes that would have prevented him from obtaining his weapons. A law enforcement source saying it was an administrative error, Pierre. Yes, David, the Air Force failed to pass along that information to the FBI, and now the military has launched an investigation to determine why. David? Pierre Thomas with us tonight. Pierre, thank you.